Hi guys, Legend of All 101 here once again Bringing you another reaction to the amazing Lucas So his reaction to Captain Marvel cause taking the major L which it has done um, I'm not going to bother reviewing this movie I'm just not I just want to see what everybody else is talking about right now about the movie I'm not even going to give it the time of day I'm just, just reacting to other people's reactions so Let's get into this. Remember to remember to find me Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Pump this video up, subscribe, share the video, and leave comments in the comment section down below. I want to hear what you guys think about this as well. And turn notifications on for my next video. So let's see what amazing Lucas has to say about Captain Marvel. I'm not upset. Just disappointed. Oh, maybe a little upset. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. You were the chosen one, Marvel. And it was that thing you were the boy. The chosen one. And social justice dribble. Not, not, not promote it. But you would, you would bring fans together. Not, not tear us apart. Let me just say, I wanted to like this movie. You guys don't get it. I wanted to. To, I hope this movie was like a really good movie. Because I'm a Marvel fan. I know I was, I was <laughs> trashing it based off of the trailers. I kept telling you that. You know, we all were, Lucas. We all were Marvel fans. Maybe it was just a bad editor. Because we all been to a movie, right? Where the, where the trailer was amazing. You get down and finally watch the movie. And it's like, yo, this, this is bull crap. This was nothing like how the trailer showed that it was going to be. So I was like, you know what? Maybe it was just the editor's fault. And you know what? When it came to Brie Larson. Talking all her stuff about white men and all that, I didn't care, right? I was like, you know what? Push that to the side. I, I can compartmentalize, right? Her politics <laughs> versus her as an actress, right? She has an Oscar. That's what I'm, that's what I'm thinking. Mark Ruffalo's been saying Oscar. crazy stuff. Oscar don't mean nothing. Uh, Christopher, Chris Evans, all of them, all of the majors. They all been all that social justice warrior nonsense, blood diversity, all that, all that bull crap. So I was like, you know what? Don't care about that. As long as it doesn't affect the movie. So let, let me just say, say I feel, man, I took an L for you guys. I took an L so you didn't have to. Call me Movie Jesus because that is how it felt like. It felt like I was being nailed. My eyes were being nailed to a cross. My... I'm not joking. So here's the thing. Like in the beginning, I was like in the beginning. Like I said, I had given the movie a handicap, right? I was like, I know I'm going to get a few things I'm probably not going to like, but I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn the blind eye to this because I want this movie to be good. In the beginning, it, it, was, it wasn't that bad, right? Lee Larson, she had a little, little character. I was like, okay. How I saw it, I was like, okay, she's going to be like the female Tony Stark, where she's going to be witty, witticism, like a goofball, right? Like a clown. Someone who's just always cracking jokes in serious moments. I don't have a problem with that. I was like, that is awesome. Please show me more of this. And they did it. I have to be honest with you. She she, she was, was dry. dry. She was she was very dry. dry. She was dry. It felt like she she this, this movie was beneath her. That's the only thing I can explain. Because it's either that or Oscars mean as much as uh, finding them in a cracker jack box. And you, you choose. Either they, they mean they can act or they mean nothing. Because it felt like she was just phoning it in. But she was actually on set. I was just like. Girl, Girl, come on now. now. Like, like, you know, no, 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 you could have read that line better. better. Like, like, there was, there was no inflection. There was just like, okay. okay. That's what we're doing. All right. right. That was, was just like, bruh. 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 Now, even after Brie Larson just, just <laughs> beep, flat line acting throughout, throughout the entire film. Well, yeah. Throughout the entire film, I was willing, I was willing to forego that. And, and still, you know what, let me look, look on the bright side, side right? right? So is the cup half empty or half full? But they, they, they broke the cardinal rule that I have. And the cardinal rule is to keep politics out of my movies. I don't want that. Just give me a good super <laughs> dope film. And, and that's, that's the main problem exactly. with this film. They're, they're breaking that rules right now. They're breaking these rules. Not a superhero film. It was crap in that. And that's what I came to see. A superhero film. This felt like propaganda. It, it felt, felt like, like propaganda, propaganda and, and the points they wanted to get and address were first, were priority, and the superhero stuff was at the bottom. 
Because the action scenes, action scenes were just completely anticlimactic. I was like, well, what, what is going on here? When it comes to, when it comes to the fight scene, even the fight scene, I was just like, this is boring. Even when she gets her powers, it's boring. I've never in my life experienced that ever. But the political stuff that I'm referencing was like this, the, the whole undertone was like evil white men. That's what it was. I, I couldn't believe this. There's, there's, a, a, there's a pilot who's like, you do know why they call it the cockpit, right? I'm just like, cringe, just, ugh. Like, how did, that, how did that not get edited out? Who left that in there? There's so, there are moments like that where it's cringe. There's a moment where she lands on planet Earth, and this guy on a bicycle, right? Leather jacket and everything. Hey, baby, why don't you give me a smile? Just like, no one talks like that. Like, there's even a moment where Bruce Wall says, young lady, who says, listen, young lady, and like the woman just gets so offended at that. You ever call me young lady again, I'm gonna hit you where the, the I'm gonna kick you where the, where the sun don't shine. And I'm just like, what, that, now saying, excuse me, young lady, that's offensive now? This is how, like, fat social justice warrior women, who so don't have men, you know, the, you know what the ones I'm talking about, the ones with the purple hair, and the purple, or, or, the, or the blue hair, this is how they view but, but this, this is how they think men act. This, this is one of the other problems of this movie. movie. There's, There's a difference between having a strong woman and having a strong character that is a woman. Perfect example, this movie is just a strong woman, right? She's really not that strong. A um, strong woman. Wonder Woman, strong character, who is a woman. Subtle, subtle. But a huge difference. Because it has nothing to do with, oh, you just don't like women being a strong character. No. Especially what I just told you about Alita. Alita was the strongest in the damn movie. I was like, yo, I want to live that. Give me the C9000 and I'll take it today. Swipe the credit card. Done. It has nothing to do with that. Wonder Woman, I was like, that movie was awesome. Didn't like the end. Stop in with the cop. I was like, everything else was awesome. She was strong. All the battlefields were like blue and like, Give me anyone but this, this bull crap Captain Marvel with her shaggy pants ass. No, <laughs> trash all I'm Captain Marvel. I'm not. Let, let me step it back. back. Let me. Yeah, calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. This woman. This movie is poop. When it comes to the scrolls, this is a spoiler. Spoiler to everyone. When it comes to the scrolls, anyone who knows anything about tell him, Lucas. Tell him. Anything about comic books. Tell him. History, anything. Tell about Marvel, no. Talking about the scrolls. The scrolls are really the good guys. Villains, right? This is kind of like, I don't know, E equals MC squared of the comic book world. Scrolls aren't the good guys. Got it. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Understand. Let me tell you this. They tried to make a comparison. Anyone who says they didn't, you're a liar. They tried to make a comparison with scrolls and illegal aliens. I kid you not. Because, because what Captain Marvel believes is the scrolls, well, you guys are terrorists. You guys are the bad guys. And the scroll is like, no, we're not terrorists. We're refugees. I kid you not. <laughs> that is the word that this fool describes himself as. There is a point in the movie where he finds his family. He's like, we, our families have been separated. We just want to bring our families together. And he hugs his family and everything. Man, man, I, uh, man, that's, I'm done. I'm done, <laughs> I, I'm done with this movie. Really? <laughs> really? Strong <laughs> for illegal aliens now? That's, that's what you want to tell me? They're the good guys. guys. They're, they're just, just they're peaceful. Just looking, looking more crazy to stay with our family. Our, our families, families have been separated. Man. It's ridiculous. Oh, I can't stand. I can't stand a little cool ripple being injected into a superhero film that has nothing to do with that. Fine, I'm willing to forgo all of this. They give me a badass superhero scene. They give me, you know, when she gets her power, it is badass. That's what I'm thinking. I was like, Lucas, you want to like this movie. Find a way to like this movie, right? That's what I'm thinking in the back of my head. I was like, you know what, I'm gonna give this a positive review. A positive review is they, they come, come out strong. strong. They come, come out just, just give, give, give me something, something strong. strong. Bruh. 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 Now, now, throughout this, this movie, movie, this, this shit, shit can't, can't fly. fly. She can't, can't fly. She can't, she can't, she can't do it. it. Just, 
No, no can't, can't do. do. All she can do is just jump. The, the moment that she gets the power to fly, fly. that's, that's the this, this, this is what I'm expecting. I'm expecting, like, yo, this is going to be like Man of Steel, where it's like a big moment where you have to, like, you know, he gave, like, his inner, like, his inner power is just like, yo, you can do this, you hear his father's voice or something, something like a powerful, impactful moment. Give me something awesome like that. No. The moment she learns to fly, it's one, one second. She's falling from the sky. She stops, close her eyes. That's it. Close her eyes and they're like going. And the next shot we have is her flying. I'm like, how do you ruin that moment? How do you ruin the moment where she can fly? You didn't think that may have been a, a pretty awesome, badass moment? Maybe, maybe, maybe. Stretch a little bit, maybe get to the squeeze yeah. as much no, as you can out of that. Because, because the most powerful, I guess, the coolest part of the movie is where she's like bashing like, like, like the, the planes and stuff, and stuff other spaceships. spaceships. You know what we saw in the trailer? That's, That's like the, the, the superhero shot. shot. I just wanted some good superhero action, something, something good. That's all I want. Give me a cool superhero moment. Give me a damn superhero landing. Something. Couldn't do it. But you want to know the worst part about this stone? I'm going to tell it to you. Spoiler alert. So when it comes to the Avengers, do you know where they get the Avengers name? I'm sure many of you are already guessed it. You get it from Captain Marvel. That is her nickname. Her name as a pilot is like blah, 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 Avenger, blah, blah, blah. That's where they get the Avengers of this Yo, this was like the bastards. How, how, how could you do something like that? How, how can you be that disrespectful? <laughs> how can you be that disrespectful? How, how, <laughs> man? If they pull this level of nonsense in in-game, Marvel is done. They are done. It's done. game over. Killer. It's game over. Killer. Why? I don't get it. Why, Marvel? Why? 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 Everyone who's been Why? supporting you, all the men, all the women who's been supporting your butt, through every single movie you had, this movie, this movie, this movie, even Ant-Man and Ant-Man and the Wasp, we've been watching that, I've watched that too. This movie, this movie, this movie, this movie, all the way up until what? Endgame? No pun intended. All the way up until now you're finishing out at the top of the roller coaster. Now you guys want to go crazy? Now you guys want to pull some, some feminist propaganda drivel? Now you yeah, guys want to go off the rails when you're so close, you want to fumble at the end zone? I don't get it. For who? For who? Man, that, is, that was so disrespectful. That was so disrespectful. Because you know there's going to be a little pun or something in Endgame uh, where Captain Marvel goes, well, you know why you, you guys don't. know why you guys are called this. Yeah, exactly, right? exactly. Yeah. What do you guys call yourself? Oh, really? That's interesting. That's why I call myself. Like, you know they're going to set that up in the movie. You know it. That, that just, oh, she doesn't deserve that. What, she's supposed to be the end-all, be-all? If she takes out Thanos, there's going to be a riot. <laughs> there's going to be a riot, and I'm going to be the one leading the charge. <laughs> Anyways, guys, that's the video. Let me know what you guys think. Whether or not you really look at The reason why you didn't join the film because you're anti-woman. You're scared of, of, of really strong, powerful women. Or we have believe this wasn't... This wasn't even a superhero movie. This wasn't even a movie. I don't even want to disrespect actual films and movies by calling it a movie. This was propaganda, plain and simple. And it wasn't even good propaganda. At least, at least be funny with your like propaganda and brainwashing. Either or, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please feel free to like, share, comment, subscribe. Oh, that fun stuff. Until next time, guys. Please and get me good. Be amazing. <laughs> exactly, guys. You know, they're going to push all of this into Endgame, and it's going to be a problem. It's going to be so bad. Oh, my goodness. Let's see it, guys. Uh, anyone who saw my trailer reaction for Endgame, I gave it a C. <sighs> I knew it was going to be bad. As soon as the introduction Captain Marvel, I knew I, I felt it. As soon as I saw Infinity War, I knew it was going to be straight trash. Endgame was going to be ruined. You know, as soon as Captain Marvel was going to swoop in there, 
full photon, full blast power wipe out finals is going to be something stupid. Remember, I told you first, guys. Trust me. I gave you. You know what's happening. You know what's happening. Yo. So, yeah. So I'm going to go see now. I've got work tomorrow. So I'm out. Um, remember to follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Remember to follow Amazing Lucas on YouTube channel. We've got Twitter. Comment section down below. Go to his channel. Um, remember to thumbs the video up. Subscribe. Share the video and put in the comment section, comment section down below. Tell me you guys think about this as well. How you are um, you thought about Captain Marvel? What could have been better? What you think about Endgame coming up? So yeah, uh, remember to turn notifications on. My next video is gonna drop as well. So it's me, Legend of Ball One Hundred One, signing off. Peace.